Hello everyone. So there was a, there was an interesting question on the community from Ambreen Aslam, and the question is, uh, I just want to seek some thoughts on what can be a suitable name of uh, of an issue type in Jira that can reflect non-functional requirements. Now this is a very simple question and a very very interesting, very good question because uh, when we talk about uh, development when we talk about let us say some kind of requirements that we want to implement i think whenever whenever we talk about uh, software development in general there is always uh, like some requirement right now it could be a feature it could be a requirement it could be something that you want to deliver and uh, we always have the option to use an epic now epic in jira is something that you do to deliver a requirement now now there are there are a couple of ways of doing uh, this requirement management slash non-functional requirement, functional requirement, technical work. Now, of course, you can use Confluence where you can store the information, uh, like the details of the requirement. That is, of course, the obvious thing to do. And then you can create an epic out of it. But sometimes uh, you also need a process around the requirements. Now, maybe you want to raise a requirement. Maybe you want to brainstorm it. Maybe you want to get approval from three people, maybe you want to refine it, maybe you want to freeze it. And when it comes to those requirements where you're just focused on the requirement, that is it. The, your objective is to make sure the requirement is complete and validated and approved. Then uh, uh, my recommendation would be to create uh, an issue type like requirement. And uh, the outcome of this, because if you do, if you're designing the workflow, the end result would, would be, let us say, uh, creation, of, creation of epics right because uh, your requirements are just requirements and uh, how you deliver those requirements will be then uh, decided by creating an epic so epic is a technical work or the actual work that you will do to deliver that requirement so this, this is something that you can easily do in jira because you just need to create an issue type but uh, in some cases i know that you know if you are like not just following agile by book but you are a bit traditional maybe you want to first focus on the requirements and there is a process around it then of course you can do this in jira by separating this epic from a requirement and uh, using the workflow of a requirement in a different project you can do a lot of wonderful things and of course make sure you link it using automation rules you can also link uh, so you can actually create so let, let us in your workflow whenever there is a because the outcome of a requirement is to make sure the requirement is a, is, a, is a complete requirement after all the validations, but you may or may not deliver it. So maybe in your uh, workflow transition, you can have like a status called as ready for development, not selected for development, maybe ready for development. And then whenever you move the requirement to ready for development, you can actually use automation rules to create epics out of it. And of course, you can also link it with your requirement. By the way, in case you want to learn how to do these wonderful things in Jira. You can actually take a look at uh, my free course. So if you go to ravisaga.in, then go to Mastering Jira Cloud Automation and you have the option to, I mean, not an option, you have a lot of videos to take a look at. For example, uh, linked issues uh, or create issues so, so that there are uh, plenty of videos where I mentioned uh, how to create uh, issues in Jira and uh, of course based on a transition so do take a look at my automation course it's a free course and uh, and that is it that is it uh, i thought i'll probably share this and uh, hopefully i've given you some ideas and uh, you found this video useful thank you very much bye bye